It's been really tough for our, for our farmers right throughout New South Wales. Um, there's been a widespread drought, which means there isn't much feed available. So uh, for the cropping people, it's, it's been very quiet. They haven't, you know, they haven't been able to crop. And for the livestock people, they're really having to work really hard to find feeds to feed their sheep and cattle. And it's costing them a lot when, when they do find that feed. It's important for farmers to understand what they're trying to achieve. Um, feeding for production, so looking to the other end what they're trying to um, produce and what they're trying to sell. Doing some budgeting around how much feed they've got available and how much feed it will require to get them through to the other end. Those things are really critical. But yeah, most importantly is, is um, looking at what you've got currently and looking at using your resources in the best way to get through to the other end. What we do have working for us in this particular drought is high commodity prices. So, you know, sheep are worth a lot, wool's worth a lot, beef is, is reasonably well priced. People have got the opportunity to continue to make money even with high feed input costs. Um, it is still worth looking after their livestock. It's important that people avoid uh, underfeeding their livestock um, and not feeding for production. It, it costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of feed uh, to maintain your situation with your stock or have them lose weight. It's really important to be feeding for production so that you've got something saleable at the other end. Energy and protein are the most important things to, to uh, get tests on and understand how much energy and protein you've got in your feed. Talk to some experts about what the requirements might be or, or look them up in a textbook and really make sure the, the diets you're feeding are meeting those um, targets. Each season's different and technology changes, what you're trying to achieve on, on the farm changes. It'll be different next year again, so more challenges and more learnings again next year.